Yeah. My name is Duncan Shields. I'm the Vancouver Poetry Slam master for the Vancouver Poetry Slam. Okay. And so uh, we've got Nerd Poetry Slam coming up. Yeah. Uh, what can you tell us about that? Uh, January 15th at the Café de Soleil, uh, 2096 Commercial Drive. It's around 5th and Commercial. Uh, we're going to have the Nerd Poetry Slam. Uh, we didn't have one last year, so this is the first one that we've had in two years. And uh, it's just whatever you're into in your own nerdy, geeky way, whether you're into Star Trek or Star Wars or uh, Power Rangers or Harry Potter or uh, even Twilight will be accepted. Whatever, whatever, uh, whatever you're into, you can get up there and do like a short poem about it. If you've got a haiku or a limerick, there's a three minute time limit on the poems. And uh, other than that, um, you can do whatever you like. So it's going to be open mic style? Yep, open okay. mic style. There'll be judges in the audience. We have five celebrity judges. Uh, they're going to be, uh, they'll be there to judge the, uh, the poetry. And then everybody goes in the first round. And then their main feature, Missy Peters from Victoria. And then uh, five poets in the second round will duke it out for the $50 first prize and all of the other grand prizes that are uh, available for all the poets. Okay. And what can you tell us about our special guest? Our special guest, Missy Peters, is a fantastic nerd poet from Victoria. She's had a, a one-woman uh, fringe show last year. And uh, she's uh, probably going to be there in her trademark silver jumpsuit, and she's going to do a lot of really excellent nerd poetry for us. And so you, you, you said you haven't done this in two years, but you've done uh, previous events. Yeah. Um, so how many have you done, and how did those, how were those received? All in, I think we've done five over the years, and they were received very, very well. They're a fantastic night. They're really, really good. Everybody, uh, I remember there was one um, chant of uh, somebody that got up there and didn't do a nerd poem and the whole crowd started going, not a nerd, not a nerd, or something. But um, it was just really good energy, lots of, uh, lots of enthusiasm, lots of screaming, lots of yelling. It's not like a regular, like regular poetry slams are like that too. But in this one, uh, one of the rules in a regular poetry slam is no costumes. And in this one, costumes are not only allowed, but they're totally encouraged. And there is going to be a prize for, uh, for best costume or best cosplay as well. Excellent. Uh, is there somewhere online that people can get uh, more info? Yeah, absolutely. If you go to Facebook, uh, we've got the Vancouver Poetry Slam website and uh, the event on there. If you just put in uh, Nerd Poetry Slam with Macy Peters, you should be able to find it. Excellent. So, uh, being that we're talking about nerd stuff, uh, we do have a bit of a collection yes. behind you here. Do you have a, a favorite fandom that... Uh, uh, probably, I'm uh, a big fan of Star Wars. I've collected a lot of comics over the years. Um, I can't say I've got a favorite. Looking at all of these, there's just so many. This Alien Hive Queen's always been a favorite of mine. She was fantastic. Old Walt Simonson Thor. I went through a big stage of these uh, PVC Luchador wrestlers. That was, uh, that was a really good one. And FLCL. I'm a very, very big fan of the FLCL anime. So my, uh, the length and depth of my nerdiness is large on both counts. All right. Uh, well, thank you very much for uh, taking the time here. Now, uh, you're going to do a, a piece or two for us now, yep. uh, just to give us a taste. Uh, so what, uh, what's, what are the titles there? Uh, the first one, I think, is going to be uh, A Prayer to Google, and uh, the second one will be a Shakespeare monologue about being a nerd. Our Google, which art internet, searchable be thy database. Thy search results are questions answered in cyberspace as it is in the big room. Give us this day our daily solutions and forgive us our stupid queries as we forgive those who query us stupidly. And lead us not into prevarication, but deliver us from 404. For thine is the research, the images and info, forever and ever, I can has. To geek or not to geek? That is the question. Whether it is wiser in this life to purchase the toys and comics and models and robots and to program a mound of video games and by creating play them, to geek escape this life. And by to geek we say we dodge the small talk and the thousand boring days that normals heir to, tis a consummation devoutly to be wished. To geek, to nerd. To nerd, perchance to love. Aye, there's the rub. For in that nerdy state few lovers come, when we have shuffled off this normal coil. That gives us pause. There's the problem that makes treacherous the nerdy life. For who would bear the fit and weave of fashion, 
the majority's heart, society's affection, the camouflage of sheep, the brain's decay, homogenized opinion and the thoughts that reality television doth erode, when he himself might his quietus make with a d20. Who would fill those gyms to grunt and sweat under fluorescent lights, but that the dread of never having love, the undiscovered country from whose legs no traveler returns, denerds the will, and makes us want to bear conformity for outer beauty that we know not of. Thus magazines make cowards of us all. And thus the nerdy hue of resolution is sicklied over with a Borg cast of thought. And enterprises of great crew and captain with this fear have their warp cores turned awry and lose their name of action. Hark you now, you geek Ophelias, nerds in thy DeLoreans, are all my friends remembered. Uh, did you have any parting words you'd like to? Uh, just that the show uh, starts, uh, doors are at 7, shows at 8, show up at 7 because it's going to sell out. It's 6 to $10 sliding scale. And uh, yeah, come on down Wednesday, January the 15th and uh, geek out and have a great time. Great, thank you very much.